Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can connect follow-up boss to iPhone. So your iPhone contacts automatically get pushed into follow-up boss. And also you can set up a sync so that all those leads and contacts you create in follow-up boss, everybody you've added in there, automatically get pushed to your iPhone, which is super handy because then it updates your caller ID and you know who's calling, who's texting. It's a great way to combine these two apps to be more productive. Let me show you how to set this up. First thing you're gonna do is go to apination.com you can click on discover connections there you're going to see a ton of different apps marketing apps productivity apps real estate apps i'm going to scroll on down until i see a follow-up boss there it is under f you click on that that's going to show me all the apps i can automate with follow-up boss so here we go here's iphone but if any of these other apps or things you're using kw command mailchimp outlook anything like that Go ahead and automate those with follow boss as well. You can save some time. So I'll click on that iPhone logo. You can see there's a sync available, follow up boss to iPhone, iPhone back to follow up boss. The most common is follow up boss to iPhone. So I'm gonna set that one up first, but you can set up both. It's the same flat rate altogether. So I'm gonna activate this. And to set up this sync, the first step is to sign into my API Nation account. If you have an API Nation account, go ahead and sign in. If you need to create one, hit this link at the top and go ahead and create a free API Nation account. If you already have a Google account and you wanna use that to sign in, you can do that too. I'm gonna to do that. All right, so I've signed in and now we're gonna connect Follow Up Boss. So to connect Follow Up Boss, I just need the API key from Follow Up Boss. So I'm gonna hit connect. You can see that's where that API key goes. And I also need to label it. So let's go to follow up boss and get that API key. And to grab that API key, I'm gonna to go to admin, come all the way over here to more and click on API. You're gonna see all the API keys you've created. If you haven't created any yet, you're gonna click this button to create one and you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine API Nation because that's what I'm using it for. Hit create API key. It's gonna show you this key. This is the only time you'll see it. So make sure you copy it. And now we'll go back to API Nation to plug it in. All right, and then we're just gonna come back here and paste it in. And then that label, that's just if you're managing more than one follow up boss account so you can tell the difference between the two. You can name them after teams, after offices, after yourself. I'm just gonna name mine after myself and connect. All right, so follow up boss is connected. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect iCloud. Similar thing, I'm gonna hit connect. It's gonna ask for my Apple ID, so let's put that in there. And then it's also asking for a password, but it's not my Apple ID password. It's not my iCloud password. Uh, it is an app specific password. So where do you find that app specific password? Let me show you, it's super easy. So to find my app specific password, I'm actually gonna have to create it. And to do that, I'm gonna go to appleid.apple.com. And I'm gonna sign in. And it's gonna ask you to authorize using two-factor authentication. You're gonna see this pop up. So if you're using a PC, be sure to check your iPhone to allow it. And it's also gonna send a code to either your Mac or your iPhone, whichever one you're using. So there's that code, I'm gonna type it in here. And this is just to get into my Apple ID, great. Okay, so I've signed into my Apple ID, I've authorized. And now here's this box under sign in and security for app specific passwords. So I'm gonna click on that. And it says I can generate an app specific password. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna go ahead and name mine API Nation. That's what I'm connecting and hit create. And there is that password. Be sure to copy this before you hit done because this is the only time you're actually gonna see these letters. After this, it's gonna be hidden. So I'm gonna copy that, hit done. And now I'm ready to connect iCloud on API Nation. All right, now that we have that app specific password, I'm gonna come back here, paste it in here and connect. Great, both apps are now connected. We're gonna set up our first sync. One question, do I wanna set up everybody? Do I wanna sync all contacts on first run? So everybody in follow up boss, I can push it into my phone. Totally up to you. If you follow up boss is kind of neatly organized, just makes a lot of sense. Just get them all into your iPhone. If it's kind of a mess and you don't want all of that added to your iPhone, yeah, just, just sync new contacts from now on. I'm gonna just sync new contacts from now on, which means I'll leave the box blank and hit subscribe. So we've created the sync, but it's not yet active. This is button at the top to activate it. 
This is just a final check. So do I wanna sync all contacts on first run? We already answered that. There's this filter. So if I only wanna send over particular people from follow-up boss, I could do that. One popular thing here is to set up a tag in follow-up boss. So I would set tags, contains, iPhone. And then just in follow-up boss, whenever I wanna send somebody to my iPhone, the lead feels qualified or I wanna make sure that information is on that phone, I can just tag them as iPhone, which tell this sync, go ahead and send them to the phone. So that's a nice way to kind of control exactly who's going on there. If instead you just wanna send over everybody, don't have to worry about tagging, you can just clear out that filter. Come on down here to the mapping, we do most of this for you, we just match it up. But if there's anything else you wanna add, you can do it. For example, maybe I wanna add a secondary email, I can just hit this plus sign, and then I can just search for email. It doesn't look like there is one, so I'll just add that same email field in here. So you can reuse the same field over and over. And also in the notes area, there's kind of a nice feature here where you can just type stuff and combine text with fields from Follow Boss. For example, maybe I wanna add stages into my notes. So I'm gonna type stages so that I know what this is that's coming across. I'm just not confused about why it says active or lead or anything like that. So I'm gonna say stages and then it's gonna populate with the actual stage. And I can do that with as many fields as I want. Maybe I wanna do source. And this is just a real neat way to use the notes field in uh, iCloud. Cool, this looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and activate this sync. All right, so this sync is up and running. Now I'm gonna set up the second half of this sync. I'll click that follow boss logo. It's gonna take me back to the follow boss syncs. I'm just gonna go through that same process, choose iPhone. And this time, instead of doing follow up boss to iPhone, I'm gonna choose iPhone to follow boss. I'm gonna use those same accounts that I've already connected. It's gonna show them right here. So I just select it and select my follow boss account. And finally, I'm just gonna look and create this sync also. Again, do I wanna sync all contacts on first run? Up to you. There's also this box. So if there already exists a contacts in follow up boss, do I wanna override it with whatever I put in my iPhone or do I just wanna fill in any blank fields? Most people just wanna fill in any blank fields. They're just trying to enrich their data with stuff they've added from iPhone. So that's something to keep in mind. If your iPhone is neat and tidy and that's where you're doing most of your business, go ahead and just override it, which means clear out this box. Finally, again, we're just looking at a final check before we hit the big activate button. We can set up a filter for exactly who gets sent to the follow-up boss, which might be nice. Maybe you can put something in the notes, you know, you put notes contains FUB, something like that, and then just use the notes to signal to the sync. Let's send this to follow up boss, which could be helpful because iPhone contacts contains your friends, your family, your neighbors, your coworkers, and maybe you don't want all those people in follow up boss. Maybe you only want some clients. So setting up a filter like that so that you just have to type in the notes FUB which allows you to send this to follow boss might be a good move. Again, you just come down here, add any other fields you'd like. Is there a zip? There's definitely a zip, there it is. And this looks great. I'll activate this sync. So there we go, I'm gonna hit my syncs. You can see I now have two syncs up and running. Follow up boss with iPhone and iPhone back to follow up boss. Another thing that you might wanna consider here is when sending contacts to follow up boss, one of the fields that might be helpful, especially if you're managing a team, is we now have this field for assigned agent full name. So you have contacts in your iPhone, you're a team manager, you wanna send it to follow boss, and you also wanna assign it to an agent. What you can do is just add it to the notes, you know? So we're gonna do notes, contains. I wanna assign this to Jeff. So I'm gonna create, so when I create that contact in my iPhone, I'll just make sure to write in the notes, Jeff Johnson. And then when I come down here to assign agent full name, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in Jeff as the assigned agent. So then what this does, is now I have a sync that searches through my contacts, looking for any contacts, that contain Jeff Johnson. If I if they do, it syncs them to follow up boss and it assigns them to the agent, Jeff Johnson. You would just go through and do this clone and uh, set this up for each of your agents that are on your team. And it's an easy way to assign leads to agents 
just by adding contacts to your iPhone. So that's it. That's how you set up this sync from follow up boss to your iPhone, get all those contacts shared back and forth. It's going to make you way more productive having all that information in both systems right at your fingertips. You don't have to go digging for it. You don't have to copy and paste or do any of that stuff. It's just always in front of you wherever you're looking. If you have any questions or need any assistance, give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.